Chapter 40. Liver and Gallbladder, Functional Anatomy of Liver and Biliary System. Liver is a dual organ having both secretory and excretory functions. It is the largest gland in the body, weighing about 1.5 kilograms in man. It is located in the upper and right side of the abdominal cavity, immediately beneath diaphragm. Liver. Hepatic lobes. Liver is made up of many lobes called hepatic lobes, Fig 40.1. Each lobe consists of many lobules called hepatic lobules. Hepatic lobules. Hepatic lobule is the structural and functional unit of liver. There are about 50,000 to 100,000 lobules in the liver. The lobule is a honeycomb-like structure and it is made up of liver cells called hepatocytes. Hepatocytes and hepatic plates. Hepatocytes are arranged in columns, which form the hepatic plates. Each plate is made up of two columns of cells. In between the two columns of each plate lies a bile canaliculus, Fig 40.2. In between the neighboring plates, a blood space called sinusoid is present. Sinusoid is lined by the endothelial cells. In between the endothelial cells some special macrophages called Kupfer cells are present. Portal triads. Each lobule is surrounded by many portal triads. Each portal triad consists of three vessels, a branch of hepatic artery a branch of portal vein a tributary of bile duct. Branches of hepatic artery and portal vein open into the sinusoid. Sinusoid opens into the central vein. Central vein empties into hepatic vein. Bile is secreted by hepatic cells and emptied into bile canaliculus. From canaliculus, the bile enters the tributary of bile duct. Tributaries of bile duct from canaliculi of neighboring lobules unite to form small bile ducts. These small bile ducts join together and finally form left and right hepatic ducts, which emerge out of liver. Biliary system. Biliary system or extrahepatic biliary apparatus is formed by gallbladder and extrahepatic bile ducts, bile ducts outside the liver. Right and left hepatic bile ducts which come out of liver join to form common hepatic duct. It unites with the cystic duct from gallbladder to form common bile duct, Fig 40.3. All these ducts have similar structures. Common bile duct unites with pancreatic duct to form the common hepatopancreatic duct or ampulla of Vatur, which opens into the duodenum. There is a sphincter called sphincter of Adi at the lower part of common bile duct, before it joins the pancreatic duct. It is formed by smooth muscle fibers of common bile duct. It is normally kept closed, so the bile secreted from liver enters gallbladder where it is stored. Upon appropriate stimulation, the sphincter opens and allows flow of bile from gallbladder into the intestine. Blood supply to liver. Liver receives maximum blood supply of about 1,500 ml slash minute. It receives blood from two sources, namely the hepatic artery and portal vein, Fig 40.4. Hepatic artery. Hepatic artery arises directly from aorta and supplies oxygenated blood to liver. After entering the liver, the hepatic artery divides into many branches. Each branch enters a portal triad. Portal vein. Portal vein is formed by superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein. It brings deoxygenated blood from stomach, intestine, spleen, and pancreas. Portal blood is rich in monosaccharides and amino acids. It also contains bile salts, bilirubin, urobilinogen, and GI hormones. However, the oxygen content is less in portal blood. Flow of blood from intestine to liver through portal vein is known as enterohepatic circulation, Fig 40.5. The blood from hepatic artery mixes with blood from portal vein in hepatic sinusoids. Hepatic cells obtain oxygen and nutrients from the sinusoid. Hepatic vein. Substances synthesized by hepatic cells, waste products, and carbon dioxide are discharged into sinusoids. Sinusoids drain them into central vein of the lobule. Central veins from many lobules unite to form bigger veins, which ultimately form hepatic veins, right and left, which open into inferior vena cava. Properties and composition of bile. Properties of bile. Volume, 
800 to 1200 ml slash day reaction, alkaline pH, 8 to 8.6 specific gravity, 1.010 to 1.011 color, golden yellow or green. Composition of bile. Bile contains 97.6% of water and 2.4% of solids. Solids include organic and inorganic substances. Refer fig. 40.6 for details. Secretion of bile. Bile is secreted by hepatocytes. The initial bile secreted by hepatocytes contains large quantity of bile acids, bile pigments, cholesterol, lecithin and fatty acids. From hepatocytes, bile is released into canaliculi. From here, it passes through small ducts and hepatic ducts and reaches the common hepatic duct. From common hepatic duct, bile is diverted either directly into the intestine or into the gallbladder. Sodium, bicarbonate, and water are added to bile when it passes through the ducts. These substances are secreted by the epithelial cells of the ducts. Addition of sodium, bicarbonate, and water increases the total quantity of bile. Storage of bile Most of the bile from liver enters the gallbladder, where it is stored. It is released from gallbladder into the intestine whenever it is required. When bile is stored in gallbladder, it undergoes many changes both in quality and quantity such as, volume is decreased because of absorption of a large amount of water and electrolytes, except calcium and potassium. Concentration of bile salts, bile pigments, cholesterol, fatty acids and lecithin is increased because of absorption of water and electrolytes. The pH is decreased slightly. Specific gravity is increased. Mucin is added to bile, table 40.1. Bile salts. Bile salts are the sodium and potassium salts of bile acids, which are conjugated with glycine or taurine. Formation of bile salts. Bile salts are formed from bile acids. There are two primary bile acids in human, namely cholic acid and genodeoxycholic acid, which are formed in liver and enter the intestine through bile. Due to the bacterial action in the intestine, the primary bile acids are converted into secondary bile acids, cholic acid rightward arrow deoxycholic acid shinodeoxycholic acid rightward arrow lithocholic acid secondary bile acids from intestine are transported back to liver through enterohepatic circulation. In liver, the secondary bile acids are conjugated with glycine, amino acid, or taurin, derivative of an amino acid, and form conjugated bile acids, namely glycocholic acid and toracolic acids. These bile acids combine with sodium or potassium ions to form the salts, sodium or potassium glycocholate and sodium or potassium toracolate, Fig 40.7. Enterohepatic circulation of bile salts. Enterohepatic circulation is the transport of substances from small intestine to liver through portal vein. About 90% to 95% of bile salts from intestine are transported to liver through enterohepatic circulation. Remaining 5% to 10% of the bile salts enter large intestine. Here, the bile salts are converted into deoxycholate and lithocholate, which are excreted in feces. Functions of bile salts Bile salts are required for digestion and absorption of fats in the intestine. The functions of bile salts are Emulsification of fats. Emulsification is the process by which the fat globules are broken down into minute droplets and made in the form of a milky fluid called emulsion in small intestine, by the action of bile salts. Lipolytic enzymes of GI tract cannot digest the fats directly because the fats are insoluble in water due to the surface tension. Bile salts emulsify the fats by reducing the surface tension due to their detergent action. Now the fats can be easily digested by lipolytic enzymes. Unemulsified fat usually passes through the intestine and then it is eliminated in feces. Emulsification of fats by bile salts needs the presence of lecithin from bile. Absorption of fats. Bile salts help in the absorption of digested fats from intestine into blood. Bile salts combine with fats and make complexes of fats called micelles. The fats in the form of micelles can be absorbed easily. Choleretic action. Bile salts stimulate the secretion of bile from liver. 
This action is called choleretic action. Cholagog action. Cholagog is an agent which causes contraction of gallbladder and release of bile into the intestine. Bile salts act as cholagogs indirectly by stimulating the secretion of hormone cholecystokinin. This hormone causes contraction of gallbladder, resulting in release of bile. Laxative action. Laxative is an agent which induces defecation. Bile salts act as laxatives by stimulating peristaltic movements of the intestine. Prevention of gallstone formation. Bile salts prevent the formation of gallstone by keeping the cholesterol and lecithin in solution. In the absence of bile salts, cholesterol precipitates along with lecithin and forms gallstone. Bile pigments. Bile pigments are the excretory products in bile. Bilirubin and biliverdin are the two bile pigments and bilirubin is the major bile pigment in human beings. Bile pigments are formed during the breakdown of hemoglobin, which is released from the destroyed RBCs in the reticuloendothelial system, Fig 40.8. Formation and excretion of bile pigments. Stages of formation and circulation of bile pigments, senile erythrocytes are destroyed in reticuloendothelial system and hemoglobin is released from them. Hemoglobin is broken into globin and heme. Heme is split into iron and the pigment biliverdin. Iron goes to iron pool and is reused. First formed pigment biliverdin is reduced to bilirubin. Bilirubin is released into blood from the reticuloendothelial cells. In blood, the bilirubin is transported by the plasma protein, albumin. Bilirubin circulating in the blood is called free bilirubin or unconjugated bilirubin. Within few hours after entering the circulation, the free bilirubin is taken up by the liver cells. In the liver, it is conjugated with glucuronic acid to form conjugated bilirubin. Conjugated bilirubin is then excreted into intestine through bile. Fate of conjugated bilirubin Stages of excretion of conjugated bilirubin, in intestine, 50% of the conjugated bilirubin is converted into urobilinogen by intestinal bacteria. First the conjugated bilirubin is deconjugated into free bilirubin, which is later reduced into urobilinogen. Remaining 50% of conjugated bilirubin from intestine is absorbed into blood and enters the liver through portal vein, enterohepatic circulation. From liver, it is re-excreted in bile most of the urobilinogen from intestine enters liver via enterohepatic circulation. Later, it is re-excreted through bile about 5% of urobilinogen is excreted by kidney through urine. In urine, due to exposure to air, the urobilinogen is converted into urobilin by oxidation some of the urobilinogen is excreted in feces as stercobilinogen. In feces, stercobilinogen is oxidized to stercobilin. Normal plasma levels of bilirubin. Normal bilirubin, total bilirubin, content in plasma is 0.5 to 1.5 mg slash dl. When it exceeds 1 mg slash dl, the condition is called hyperbilirubinemia. When it exceeds 2 mg slash dl, jaundice occurs. Functions of bile. Most of the functions of bile are due to the bile salts. One digestive function. Refer functions of bile salts. Two absorptive functions. Refer functions of bile salts. Three excretory functions. Bile pigments are the major excretory products of the bile. Other substances excreted in bile are heavy metals like copper and iron. Some bacteria like typhoid bacteria. Some toxins. Cholesterol. Lecithin. Alkaline phosphatase. For laxative action. Bile salts act as laxatives, see above. 5. Antiseptic action. Bile inhibits the growth of certain bacteria in the lumen of intestine by its natural detergent action. 6. Choleretic action. Bile salts have the choleretic action, see above. 7. Maintenance of pH in gastrointestinal tract. As bile is highly alkaline, it neutralizes the acid chyme which enters the intestine from stomach. Thus, an optimum pH is maintained for the action of digestive enzymes. 8. Prevention of gallstone formation. Refer function of bile salts. 9. Lubrication function. 
The mucin in bile acts as a lubricant for the chyme in intestine. 10. Cholagog action. Bile salts act as cholagogs, see above. Liver is the largest gland and one of the vital organs of the body. It performs many vital metabolic and homeostatic functions, which are summarized below. 1. Metabolic function. Liver is the organ where maximum metabolic reactions such as metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, and many hormones are carried out. 2. Storage function. Many substances like glycogen, amino acids, iron, folic acid, and vitamins A, B12 and D are stored in liver. 3. Synthetic function. Liver produces glucose by gluconeogenesis. It synthesizes all the plasma proteins and other proteins, except immunoglobulins, such as clotting factors, complement factors, and hormone binding proteins. It also synthesizes steroids, somatomedin, and heparin. 4. Secretion of bile. Liver secretes bile which contains bile salts, bile pigments, cholesterol, fatty acids and lecithin. The functions of bile are mainly due to bile salts. Bile salts are required for digestion and absorption of fats in the intestine. Bile helps to carry away waste products and break down fats, which are excreted through feces or urine. 5. Excretory function. Liver excretes cholesterol, bile pigments, heavy metals, like lead, arsenic, and bismuth, toxins, bacteria and virus, like that of yellow fever, through bile. 6. Heat production. Enormous amount of heat is produced in the liver because of metabolic reactions. Liver is the organ where maximum heat is produced. 7. Hemopoietic function. In fetus, hepatic stage, liver produces the blood cells, chapter 10. It stores vitamin B12 necessary for erythropoiesis and iron necessary for synthesis of hemoglobin. Liver produces thrombopoietin that promotes production of thrombocytes. 8. Hemolytic function. The senile RBCs after a lifespan of 120 days are destroyed by reticuloendothelial cells, Kupfer cells, of liver. 9. Inactivation of hormones and drugs. Liver catabolizes the hormones such as growth hormone, parathormone, cortisol, insulin, glucagon, and estrogen. It also inactivates the drugs, particularly the fat-soluble drugs. The fat-soluble drugs are converted into water-soluble substances, which are excreted through bile or urine. 10. Defensive and detoxification functions. Reticuloendothelial cells, Kupfer cells, of the liver play an important role in the defense of the body. Liver is also involved in the detoxification of the foreign bodies. Foreign bodies such as bacteria or antigens are swallowed and digested by reticuloendothelial cells of liver by means of phagocytosis. Reticuloendothelial cells of liver also produce substances like interleukins and tumor necrosis factors, which activate the immune system of the body. Chapter 17 Liver cells are involved in the removal of toxic property of various harmful substances. Removal of toxic property of the harmful agent is known as detoxification. Detoxification in liver occurs in two ways, total destruction of the substances by means of metabolic degradation. Conversion of toxic substances into non-toxic materials by means of conjugation with glucuronic acid or sulfates. Gallbladder Bile secreted from liver is stored in gallbladder. The capacity of gallbladder is approximately 50 ml. Gallbladder is not essential for life and it is removed, cholecystectomy, in patients suffering from gallbladder dysfunction. After cholecystectomy, patients do not suffer from any major disadvantage. In some species, gallbladder is absent. Functions of gallbladder Major functions of gallbladder are the storage and concentration of bile. Storage of bile Bile is continuously secreted from liver. But it is released into intestine only intermittently and most of the bile is stored in gallbladder till it is required. Concentration of bile Bile is concentrated while it is stored in gallbladder. The mucosa of gallbladder rapidly reabsorbs water and electrolytes, except calcium and potassium. But the bile salts, bile pigments, 
cholesterol and lecithin are not reabsorbed. So, the concentration of these substances in bile increases 5 to 10 times, Fig 40.9. Alteration of pH of bile. The pH of bile decreases from 8 to 8.6 to 7 to 7.6 and it becomes less alkaline when it is stored in gallbladder. Secretion of mucin. Gallbladder secretes mucin and adds it to bile. When bile is released into the intestine, mucin acts as a lubricant for movement of chyme in the intestine. Maintenance of pressure in biliary system. Due to the concentrating capacity, gallbladder maintains a pressure of about 7 cm H2O in biliary system. This pressure in the biliary system is essential for the release of bile into the intestine. Filling and emptying of gallbladder. Usually, the sphincter of Adi is closed during fasting and the pressure in the biliary system is only 7 cm H2O. Because of this pressure, the bile from liver enters the gallbladder. While taking food or when chyme enters the intestine, gallbladder contracts along with relaxation of sphincter of Adi. Now, the pressure increases to about 20 cm H2O. Because of the increase in pressure, the bile from gallbladder enters the intestine. Contraction of gallbladder is influenced by neural and hormonal factors. Neural factor. Stimulation of parasympathetic nerve, vagus, causes contraction of gallbladder by releasing acetylcholine. The vagal stimulation occurs during the cephalic phase and gastric phase of gastric secretion. Hormonal factor. When a fatty chyme enters the intestine from stomach, the intestine secretes the cholecystokinin, which causes contraction of the gallbladder. Regulation of bile secretion. Bile secretion is a continuous process though the amount is less during fasting. It starts increasing after meals and continues for 3 hours. Secretion of bile from liver and release of bile from the gallbladder are influenced by some chemical factors, which are categorized into three groups, choleretics, cholagog, hydrocholeretic agents, choleretics. Substances which increase the secretion of bile from liver are known as choleretics. Effective choleretic agents are, acetylcholine, secretin, cholecystokinin, acid chyme in intestine, bile salts, cholagogues. Cholagog is an agent which increases the release of bile into the intestine by contracting gallbladder. Common cholagogues are, bile salts, calcium, fatty acids, amino acids, inorganic acids. All these substances stimulate the secretion of cholecystokinin, which in turn causes contraction of gallbladder and flow of bile into intestine. Hydrocholeretic agents. Hydrocholeretic agent is a substance which causes the secretion of bile from liver, with large amount of water and less amount of solids. Hydrochloric acid is a hydrocholeretic agent. Applied physiology. Jaundice or icterus. Jaundice or icterus is the condition characterized by yellow coloration of the skin, mucous membrane and deeper tissues due to increased bilirubin level in blood. The word jaundice is derived from the French word jaune meaning yellow. The normal serum bilirubin level is 0.5 to 1.5 mg slash dl. Jaundice occurs when bilirubin level exceeds 2 mg slash dl. Types of jaundice. Jaundice is classified into three types, prehepatic or hemolytic jaundice. Hepatic or hepatocellular jaundice. Post-hepatic or obstructive jaundice. Prehepatic or hemolytic jaundice. Hemolytic jaundice is the type of jaundice that occurs because of excessive destruction of RBCs resulting in increased blood level of free, unconjugated, bilirubin. In this condition, the excretory function of liver is normal. But the quantity of bilirubin increases enormously. The liver cells cannot excrete that much excess bilirubin rapidly. Unconjugated bilirubin is insoluble in water and is not excreted in urine. So, it accumulates in the blood resulting in jaundice. Formation of urobilinogen also increases resulting in the excretion of more amount of urobilinogen in urine. Causes any condition that causes hemolytic anemia can lead to hemolytic jaundice. Common causes of hemolytic jaundice are, 
renal disorder, hypersplenism, burns, infections such as malaria, hemoglobin abnormalities such as sickle cell anemia or thalassemia, drugs or chemical substances causing red cell damage, autoimmune diseases, hepatic or hepatocellular or cholestatic jaundice. Hepatic jaundice is the type of jaundice that occurs due to the damage of hepatic cells. Because of the damage, the conjugated bilirubin from liver cannot be excreted and it returns to blood. Causes Infection, infective jaundice, by virus, resulting in hepatitis, viral hepatitis, alcoholic hepatitis, cirrhosis of liver, exposure to toxic materials, post-hepatic or obstructive or extrahepatic jaundice. Post-hepatic type of jaundice occurs because of the obstruction of bile flow at any level of the biliary system. The bile cannot be excreted into small intestine. So, bile salts and bile pigments enter the circulation. The blood contains more amount of conjugated bilirubin, table 40.2. Causes Gallstones Cancer of biliary system or pancreas Hepatitis Hepatitis is the liver damage caused by many agents. It is characterized by swelling and inadequate functioning of liver. Hepatitis may be acute or chronic. In severe conditions, it may lead to liver failure and death. Causes and types Viral infection, viral hepatitis, see below. Bacterial infection like leptospirosis and Q fever. Excess consumption of alcohol. Excess administration of drugs like paracetamol. Poisons like carbon tetrachloride and aflatoxin. Wilson disease, chapter 151. Circulatory insufficiency. Inheritance from mother during part urition. Viral hepatitis. Viral hepatitis is the type of hepatitis caused by viruses. It is caused by two types of viruses, hepatitis A and hepatitis B. Causes of viral hepatitis Mainly by intake of water and food contaminated with hepatitis virus. Sharing needles with infected persons. Accidental prick by infected needle. Having unprotected sex with infected persons. Inheritance from mother during part urition. Blood transfusion from infected donors. Hepatitis caused by hepatitis B virus is more common and considered more serious because it may lead to cirrhosis and cancer of liver. Features of hepatitis. Fever. Nausea. Vomiting, diarrhea and loss of appetite. Headache and weakness. In addition, chronic hepatitis is characterized by stomach pain. Paleness of skin. Dark colored urine and pale stool. Jaundice. Personality changes. Cirrhosis of liver. Cirrhosis of liver refers to inflammation and damage of parenchyma of liver. It results in degeneration of hepatic cells and dysfunction of liver. Causes. Infection. Retention of bile in liver due to obstruction of ducts of biliary system. Enlargement of liver due to intoxication. Inflammation around liver, perihepatitis. Infiltration of fat in hepatic cells. Features. Fever, nausea, and vomiting. Jaundice. Increased heart rate and cardiac output. Portal hypertension. Muscular weakness and wasting of muscles. Drowsiness. Lack of concentration and confused state of mind. Coma in advanced stages. Gallstones. Definitions. Gallstone is a solid crystal deposit that is formed by cholesterol, calcium ions, and bile pigments in the gallbladder or bile duct. Cholelithiasis is the presence of gallstones in gallbladder. Cholelithiasis is the presence of gallstones in the bile ducts. Formation of gallstones. Normally, cholesterol present in the bile combines with bile salts and lecithin, which make the cholesterol soluble in water. Under some abnormal conditions, this water-soluble cholesterol precipitates resulting in the formation of gallstone. Initially, small quantity of cholesterol begins to precipitate forming many small crystals of cholesterol in the mucosa of gallbladder. 
This stimulates further formation of crystals and the crystals grow larger and larger. Later, bile pigments and calcium are attached to these crystals, resulting in formation of gallstones. Causes for gallstone formation Reduction in bile salts and slash or lecithin Excess of cholesterol Disturbed cholesterol metabolism Excess of calcium ions due to increased concentration of bile Damage or infection of gallbladder epithelium. It alters the absorptive function of the mucous ME membrane of the gallbladder. Sometimes, there is excessive absorption of water or even bile salts, leading to increased concentration of cholesterol, bile pigments, and calcium ions obstruction of bile flow from the gallbladder. Diagnosis of gallstone. Presence of gallstone is diagnosed by ultrasound scanning and cholangiography. Cholangiography is the radiological study of biliary ducts after the administration of a contrast medium. Features Common feature of gallstone is the pain in stomach area or in upper right part of the belly under the ribs. Other features include nausea, vomiting, abdominal bloating and indigestion. Treatment for gallstone Simple cholesterol gallstones can be dissolved over a period of 1 or 2 years by giving 1 to 1.5 gm of chemodeoxycholic acid daily. This increases the concentration of bile acids. So, excessive concentration of bile does not occur. In severe conditions, the gallbladder has to be removed, cholecystectomy. Laparoscopic surgery is the common method.